Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Continuing on the theme of Star Wars, uh, last episode we made Star Wars Death Star peanut butter cups, and this episode we are going to make Star Wars Death Star popsicles. Super easy to make. Let's get started. First we need our Death Star mold, and I found mine on Amazon. I got different uh, variety of liquids here. We got some uh, lemonade, we got some fruit punch, we got some Sprite, we have some Kool-Aid. I have this little uh, 30 milliliter uh, syringe, works, works great for putting the liquid in the mold. I have a small funnel so you can use either or. I have some glass bowls here that we're going to put the liquid in. I have some tape that will hold our stick in place. I have this pan which is just going to catch the extra liquid from when it dribbles out of the mold. And we need popsicle sticks. Normal popsicle sticks are too fat to fit through the top of the hole. Um, there are a skinnier popsicle stick, and they're called skinny sticks, something like that, uh, in the craft section at like Walmart. Um, they were out of uh, stock when I went there. So I just picked up these uh, round dowels, um, wooden round dowels, dowels and uh, I just cut them in half. Um, so I got a few sticks here, those are gonna work great. Um, you can also use cookie sticks. These are a little fatter version of the lollipop stick, and these will work great as well. Now we wanna decide what kind of popsicle we're gonna make. Um, I'm gonna do two different colors on this. So I, on this one, I wanna start with a, a red fruit punch, and that will go in the bottom here. And then we're gonna let that freeze for several hours, and then we'll come back and we'll add the top. I'm gonna to add Sprite. So it's gonna be a two-tone Sprite and fruit punch. Um, so with this one, since I don't need to pour through the hole, I don't need to use my syringe. So I'm just going to go in here really carefully and pour in my fruit punch. About to the top, just like that. And then we'll go ahead and put the top on. And as you can see, if you can see right here, there's a little notch, a little groove. And then on the cap or the lid, there's a little groove as well. And so what we want to do is we want to match these two up and we'll put the lid right on there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our sticks. Like I said, you could use a wooden stick or you could use one of these sticks. And just put it right in there, like that. Um, if it floats on you, it shouldn't float on you, but if it does, then you just go ahead and use some tape and just put it on the top, okay? So that's one of them. Now this one, I think it would be neat to, to do a all, an all uh, Sprite one. We'll go ahead and uh, fill the first half with Sprite. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put the top on. Again, line it up like that, okay? We'll put our stick in. Now this is where this little injector comes in really handy. Um, I'm gonna take some Sprite and put it in this little dish. Now, you could use your funnel and put it right over this and pour it in that way if you want. Um, but you have to have a really precise uh, funnel to fit in this hole. But with this injector, you see that this is a lot smaller. Um, we'll just go ahead and take some of this. And you just come over here and you just squirt it in the hole. So it works really good. Now we're gonna wanna fill it almost to the top. And I can, just start, I can just start to see it coming out there. So let's just go ahead and... Okay, that looks good. And now what we're gonna do, you can clean this off if you want, is I'm gonna place these in the freezer, probably about four to five hours, somewhere around there. You need it to really set up well. Um, this is the one that has just half of it in there, just the red, um, same thing. Um, three to four hours in the freezer, depending on cold your, the cold setting you have on your freezer. And then we're gonna go ahead and add more liquid to the top of this once that first uh, bottom sets. And this one will be ready to go. All right, so the first half of this is frozen. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour in the second half um, using the Sprite. And again, you can uh, use whatever flavor you want. 
Again, we don't want to go all the way. But if you fill up too much, it's fine. It'll just come out the top. Now we put it back in the freezer for two to three hours until it freezes completely. Okay, so once you take it out of the freezer, you'll notice that it still came out the top a little bit. I put a little bit too much uh, liquid in there. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna open it up. And uh, so what you do is you just kind of push it off. You wanna clear out the top a little bit because that's where the hole is. And then you're just gonna pull it up like that. And there you go. And then the trick to this is you use your palms and your fingers and just kind of push it out. And then you can just grab it and pull it out. And look at that, there you go. And you will see that there's a little ring around it. That just happens because it's a, a silicone mold. And if you don't like the ring on there, then you can just go ahead and take a knife and you can just scrape it right off. It comes off really easy, just like that. And there you go, pretty cool. All right. Our Star Wars Death Star popsicles are done. They turned out really well, super creative, and they're easy to do. And the cool thing is you can use a variety of flavors, whatever you wanna use. Uh, this one has a fruit punch top, a Sprite bottom. This one's all Sprite. This one's all Kool-Aid. Whatever you wanna do, really easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Time for me to dive into one of these. I'm gonna go after this Kool-Aid one. Really yummy.